Hey guys, so today I thought we could have a little chat about my top five favorite fictional introverts. I'm Heather and this is Fancy That. Being an introvert with a somewhat eccentric sense of style has had its interesting moments. I always feel like I'm letting people down a little bit when they're like, ah, uh, she's here for the party. And I'm like, what do I do with my hands? Thankfully, those of us who are introverted happen to be in good fictional company. Up first on the list is Amelie, a girl who's lived in her own imagination since the early beginnings of her lonely childhood. Amelie decides to let that imagination wander out into the real world. She schemes to make the lives of friends and strangers even better, but in the process she realizes that she's neglected to live her own life. Now the film's color palette is pretty restricted to shades of green and red, but Amelie's quirks, the little things like her attention to detail and her love for the romantic, come out in little ways throughout the film. You can see her style come out in the cut of her hair and the 1920s style peplum tops and skirts that she pairs with her Doc Martens. I see myself in Amelie, the way that she uses style to create different characters so that she can navigate through the big moments of her life. Number two on the list of Pride and Prejudice fame is Mr. Fitzwilliam Darcy himself. A classic introvert, Darcy loathes the social gatherings that a man of his breeding would be required to attend. He finds his only pleasure at these events is his observation of others. He organizes their faults and quirks and habits into this kind of catalog of defense that he can use against them at his whim. Because of this, Darcy is always appropriately attired for every occasion. His perfectly placed cravat provides him a little bit of social camouflage while he stands back and makes his critical observations. Number three brings us Luna Lovegood of Harry Potter fame. Wand tucked safely behind her ear, a necklace of butterbeer caps, and spectra specks on her nose, Luna Lovegood is one of those girls who's so cool that people just don't get her. Luna's eccentric style isn't because she's trying to make a statement or stand out. Many of the things she wears have a pretty good reason behind it, whether it's based in fact or not. Curious and brave, my fellow Ravenclaw knew that others considered her an odd duck but she never let that get in the way of who she truly was. Quit a chat and all. Number four is Sherlock Holmes. This super sleuth is continuously connecting dots in his mind. An introverted genius who was more committed to following his cases to their logical conclusion than he was about his wardrobe, and hygiene for that matter, asked Dr. Watson. Although often identified by his tweed deer stalker cap, Sherlock would scoff at the idea of such sentimentality. Not lacking in the sentiment department is number five, Katniss Everdeen. Infinitely more confident in survival mode, the Hunger Games heroine prefers tactical gear over the flamboyant costumes of the capital. One thing she won't be without though, her Mockingjay pin that was given to her before the games by her little sister Prim. And while she'd rather be in boots over ball gowns, Katniss is proof that introverts can lead and inspire. So of course, I wanna know down below, are you introverted, are you extroverted, and what fictional characters inspire your personality? Take a minute before you leave and hit that subscribe button to make sure you see all the videos from Hissy Fit. And if you need more from me, all of my links will be down below. I'm gonna head back to my books now. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye.